So the month of May in Indiana is all about the greatest spectacle in racing. We know that the beauty of the Indy 500 has inspired more than just fast cars, though, over the years. It's become the muse for many local artists, too. And Fox 59's Kit Hanley has more on how the race and creativity go hand in hand. Hi, Kit. Hey guys, good morning. I'm so happy to hear your guys' voices. You know, over the decades, art has played a major role in both promoting and celebrating the greatest spectacle in racing here at IMS. And it's taken many different forms from murals and memorabilia to poems and paintings, all of it helping to create the iconic, colorful culture of the Indy 500. IMS President Doug Bowles says it can all be traced back to programs of the early 1920s and 30s that feature artistic drawings and the handwritten poems of what the Speedway represented to Hoosiers then. And today, the creative nature is still flourishing. There's an entire Speedway artist collective that you're looking at on your screen. It's on Main Street in Speedway, and it's dedicated to showcasing IMS-related artwork. I hear from folks who found really cool things that they take home that are unique and you know even in my camper right I have things that I've picked up from local artists that I put in my camper every day that I walk in and I think this is what it's about it is a community event and when those artists can showcase it and be part of that community and raise it to another level it's really important. And co-founder of the Speedway Artist Collective Leisha Schmitz says all of the past artists and its 15 featured artists now have helped grow both the race and the entire town in the process. So I think art has had a big play in growing the town of Speedway. When you look at the redevelopment that's happened on Main Street, the art installations that have popped up, it just makes it seem like a more vibrant town. And the town has really embraced it too. The SAC is located on Main Street and Speedway until the end of May, and after that, it will move to 16th and Lyndhurst, and it will feature a little bit of everything. Now, in the Main Street area, you'll also find some really cool Speedway-related coffee shops like The Spark, which I've talked about a lot, and Angela and Daniel. I know Daniel's already seen these this morning, but as I showed you last week, this is actually where my earrings are from. They're from The Collective. Oh, so, cool. you guys, if you need any race day gear, you need to head that way. And I'm telling you. She was talking yesterday because she had to go pick up her credentials. Did you make it down to Main Street? I did. I got some new earrings, too. Nice. I'll be wearing those on <laughs> Sunday. So, hold up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Super team. I got, got an earring, Love too, that. Kit. We need to get you a, a, one like that. Well, I won't dangle like that, but <laughs> I'll keep this one. I won't dangle like that. I like that.